Hey everybody, Coach Klatz. Segment five, outfield play. You didn't think I'd get there, I finally got there. We are at the home field, we're here uh, on Klotz Stadium on, uh, in beautiful Adrian, Michigan. I got my man Logan, we're gonna go over outfield play. So we're gonna do some simple drills that we do every day with our outfielders, okay? So we're gonna start out, and if you don't, if you have, and depending on who you have, if you have a little guy and he's not real fond of the baseball or softball, Start him with the tennis ball. Start him with something soft, a wiffle ball. But work at the progression to their comfort level. All right, today we're gonna to start with the baseball. We're gonna do a simple drill where Logan's going to get behind the ball. I'm gonna throw the ball above his head. I'm just gonna underhand it. He's gonna get back behind the ball, try to catch the ball above his head, preferably on his throwing side. So if he's right-handed, I'd like to have him catch it over here rather than on this side of the body. But worst case scenario, he catches it above his head and he brings it to his throwing side. And he's gonna get back behind the ball. He's gonna use his feet to catch the balls, what I like to say. So he's gonna open his hip, get back, catch the ball, and come forward. So it's as simple as just doing some stuff like this. We'll toss it up, he'll get it behind the ball, and he'll get it up. We're gonna do a couple of them over here. Behind the ball, okay? You get the idea. You can do as many as you want, it's just fun stuff. Now we're going to go to a 45 degree angle on his throwing hand. So he's going to open up to his very hand side. I'm going to say go. He's going to go by. This is the ball in the gap or the ball that's not hit directly at the outfielder where he has to actually go in the gap. He's going to run. There's two things. If he can get around the ball and catch it coming forward, we want to do that. If he has to catch it on the run, this is the hardest catch. It's called the forearm catch. He's going to be looking through his forearm. So it's really tough and critical that he's got to run and get out there and he's got to get his eyes clear and he's got to catch it. If he catches it on the run, he has a rule of three steps. That's my man Zeke, our new puppy dog, <laughs> don't mind him. He has three steps to stop and get the ball back to the end. All right, this one I'll do on the run. So move up a little bit, give yourself a little bit of room. Set, go, go catch it. get it back. Reason we want to stop in three steps is too many times you see a, a, a great little guy, big guy, college guy, they make a great play in the gap. They catch it and they run 15 more steps to the wall. Great play, get the ball back to the infield. Now we're going to open up to his glove side. Same, tip, same thing, we're going to tell him go. All right, he's going to go, he's going to sprint. If he can get around the ball, he'll sprint. All right, he'll get around the ball, he'll set up catch come through if he's got a catch on the run this is where he's going to do a 360 all right meaning that if he catches it on the run he's going to turn his back he's going to stop and then he's going to crow hop to the infield and get the ball back in there ready go and this one will be on the run where he'll do a 360 and get the ball back in go Two other coaching points in that. As outfielders, one you run, all right? You do not want to run with your arms out here. Run with your hands tight to your body. Put your glove in your armpit and go get it, all right? Ball hit off the bat, boom, run. Don't run out with the glove out. Run compact, get to your spot. Beat the ball to its spot if you can, then make the play, okay? Two, all right, you want to make sure that if you do have time on those balls in the gap that you can catch them and get around them. If you can set your body up to where you're gonna throw, so if you're in center field and the play is gonna be at third base and the balls hit the right center, you're here, and you can get behind it and get your momentum going to third base, that's what we wanna do. We don't wanna just catch it here and then have to do the next movement. Do all the other things you can do before you catch the ball. It'll help you become a much better outfielder. Now we have a little bit of fun. We call this the Willie Mays catch. So this is a simple catch where we're just going to throw the ball over his head. He's going to turn his back. He's going to go get it. He may catch it. He may not. We have fun. Ready? Go. Then lastly, we have the line drive drill that if you have the ball that's a line drive right at you, that's the toughest play for an outfielder to make. 
you have, a ball that's hit at you that's a line drive. My rule of thumb is, is you always want to open to your bare hand side. Why is that? If you open up to your bare hand side and there's a line drive right at me, line drive do what? Well. They don't stay straight, they generally sail on you or they turn on you. Depending on the hitter, right or left hand, if you open up to your bare hand side, if it does tail on you, you open up, you 360, get your head around, and you make the catch. Too many times you'll see a guy or an outfielder who'll open up, then he'll take another step, and he won't turn his back, and he's essentially lost two or three steps in the transition. So all we do on this one is we tell him to go, he opens up to his bare hand side, he gets his head around, and we just throw him the ball. So he's simulating a line drive that's sailed on him, it's tailing, running hard, and then he's got to make a good play. Ready, go. Okay. And got a little mud on the knees, I like it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our outfield segment. All right, there's so many things to do with the outfield. We'll have more uh, next couple segments. All right, we're working on catching. We're working on some bunting. We'll get them through you as soon as we can. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We're here live from Clot Stadium in Adrian, Michigan. Stay home, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.